Hey friends, I'm back to bring a new chapter with you for penless vocabulary. Let's end where, let's start, let's see where we end last. We end here in a activity Brent Tickler. So in Brent Tickler, there is a five words which we learned. Extraordinary, ardent, scrutinize, regale, procure. Extraordinary is, uh, I was wrong, I give you the, that I will go with plain. Yeah, but the extraordinary meaning is supernatural, like, you know. So, like, ast astonished, like, uh, amazing, remarkable, like, type. So, we will go through the astonished and the ardent, enthusiastic like to burn passionate something as uh, scrutinize scrutinize means like to examine something to learn like to examine something with learn to learn with with the scrutinizing someone something so we will go to the inspect and regale uh entertain like uh, there is a word regale delight internet entertain so we will go to entertain and procure is similarly we will obtain something so i will go to the obtain so he said that answer are on 13 page well we will clear ourselves why not there is a 31 there is a 13 one green tickler answers c a d b c C A B D C right C A D B C right two A A C D D four A four C oh, sorry sorry four C and procure for a five B right five B you are right Alhamdulillah. Let's go to the next word they mention here. Let's read it. Word in context. Major mistake territory. When selecting synonyms and antonyms, you must keep in your mind part of speech. Like he's saying when we are selecting synonyms and antonyms, like he said one thing bear in your mind is like part of speech if the last word is an adjective if we are picking something from an adjective like adjective tells about quantity or quality you must select as a synonym or antonym another adjective like we can go through the adjective if you are selecting the words like for example word is scrutinize is a verb you you choose its synonym examine yeah another verb but you cannot choose examination a noun okay 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 i got it let me explain for you guys it is a word is scrutinize like we are something we are inspecting something we are going in, in something like what we are learning this we are jumping in it we are checking the quality word how the things are in order like comma comma this is we are checking a quality manner the sentence is right here in a quality manner. so this thing we are what we are doing in an adjective so the word is scrutinized means we are examining it like like this book is really clear we can read it easily so so he says that if you are selecting word scrutinize and you are choosing examine for it so you cannot do go through the word examination because examination is a noun we cannot select the word for adjective as noun we will go through adjective to adjective so he says the major mistake territory we have to look Part of speech, if we are selecting synonyms or antonyms, don't forget that. Let's move to meet a six through ten. Because of my ardent desire for them, I devour 
great book and then thin crust. Devour means to consume, to eat greedily. Like I clearly mentioned the word ardent because they are putting the same word in the sentence thanks like we will also change our vocabulary like they change because of my ardent desire ardent means to burn like here like ardent means enthusiastic because of my ardent desire for them I devour great book than thin crust pizza. Like here's the word. Here's the word. Devour means to consume, to eat greedily. Like if we are reading this book, okay, what we are doing? We are devouring it. We are consuming it in a good manner. We are catching the all capillaries. We are going through in a coolest manner. We are devouring this book greedily we are eating it we are consuming in this book in our, in our mind so let's check why they use the word devour where's the devour here it is he simply devoured them like what his mother did his mother select few pictures book to enjoy and what the children did he simply devoured them he consume it why they don't use he simply uh, eat it he simply understand the pictures why the, um, the author don't use the book author want to change the vocabulary simply he simply devoured them like what my children simply devoured cartoons consuming it my children are simply devour the art books like what they like they love art books they are painting my children are learning with devoured like with their you know fully like they fully eat it eat they fully consume the book so we go through like this devour them he simply devour them the word is Ponder, ponder, comes from Latin ponderer, which means to wait. When you are ponder the steps you must take in order to act your science exam. You weigh the subject in your mind. You give it the time it deserves. Like, let's check the word why they use ponder. Here is the ponder work. At his mother read him, like always mother read their children. Luke pondered the miracle of creature so different from those he knew. He knew two ones, right? So he know the miracle of creature right now. He Luke pondered the miracle of creation. And the meaning of thunder is wait. Like wait is like we are like this book. I am giving you example. Like this book we are. And when we know this book completely, what we will do? We have wait. Like we have knowledge. We have time. We consume our time. We devour our time. We give the ardent desire for this book in a extraordinary manner so so what we ponder with this book and when we learn something else some else book we similarly pondered because on the time we have a lot of knowledge about the words and the different kinds of you know the things the vocabulary so as he says luke pondered the miracle of creature so different form of he knew like he knew two one and now he knows a lot of dinosaurs 
God creatures. So you know the meaning. The last word eight. When the Greeks God made his life miserable, the hero Odysseus had no choice but endure to keep going, to carry on and hang in there. Sometimes there is all we can do when trouble comes our way. Now endure is a simply easy word. So many people you are using this word and if those people don't know it very I will tell them this word is very easy don't be rushed on it you guys can use endure every in every sentence so when we are keep going in a, in something work like we are not hanging in we are not saying that oh I cannot do this no something that we can do when trouble comes our way like trouble in our way and still we are doing something in a very good manner so we can say endure to keep going I'm keep trying I'm keep doing I will not give I'm not giving up I'm keep going I'm a brave so we went we can use endure but let's see how they use in your word soon become obvious the Luke's love for dinosaur would endure like you can see soon become obvious the Luke's love of dinosaur the love he was loving dinosaur now with endure he's keep going and anything with a dinosaur patronally cetated like he is like when we know the words when we know the vocabulary we similarly enduring it like how we endure it we use it we keep going we keep trying we are using this word extraordinary and scrutinized the word pondered we will just keep going we are giving we are not skipping we are not you know we, we can't do this and no, and it's also hard. No, keep going. So, the Luke know the Luke know the love of dinosaur, and he was enduring it. Like he was keep going and keep trying and keep searching for the dinosaurs in everywhere. Hope you know. Hope you understand. Let's go to nine. To elicit, 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 elicit. It to bring forth draw out a good teacher will ask question in a way that will elicit superior response from his or her student like a good teacher asks question in a way will elicit superior response like teacher wants to ask something and uh, children are giving an answer in a superior response they are elicited like a bring forth draw out they are giving their answer in a very good manner let's see how why they use elicited verb it is here anything with dinosaur pattern elicited from Luke's expressions for sheer girl like now he is enduring it and now he want everything in a dinosaur illustrated like everything like in a bad sheet he won dinosaur like in a bath curtain he won bath mat he won dinosaur in it like he wants elicited he wants like um, draw out draw out everything in a in a dinosaur so elicited words bring forth like something like now i'm giving you my example don't worry don't worry don't worry like i'm telling you this vocabulary and um, now you guys are keep trying and keep endure keep like using this word in your sentences then guys if you are keep doing something then you will see the things in like you guys will see the things like if you are using some kind of sentences 
and you will guys use this word use this vocabulary like why you guys are looking these vocabulary or putting these book uh, adding these vocabulary in your words like you are keep going you are doing something you look you want everything in this like yeah we will use this we will use this that like what luke was doing now luke want to see draw out dinosaur in their bad sheet bath mate like similarly we will use this vocabulary in our every sentence i hope you guys understand what i'm telling you so word elicited where we use that we use it as something we want in a draw like i said this wall i want to use vocabulary words and in another room or this another wall wall i want to use the same vocabulary like i want to vocabulary wall like you want to draw something out you want to make your mind on that so similarly the luke was wants dinosaur on his walls bad sheet bath mate similar you i guy as guys i you will understand it i don't clear it more word hand is sheer as such e e r like as such double e r like let's read the meaning has two common meaning oh means sheer has two meaning like be be a lot guys it can mean complete as in the case of luke sheer girl complete mm. or it can mean very thin are transparent in the sense of sheer curtains or sheer fabric okay 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 i will tell you guys don't worry sheer has two meaning it can it can mean complete like first meaning is that it is mean completed in the case of sheer look sheer chill chill looks chill uh it can mean a very thin second meaning is very thin and transparent complete in the first meaning second meaning is very thin or transparent the sense of sheer curtains or fabric like, let's see why they use sheer girl sheer they say uh, now i paternally cited from looks okay okay we will read anything with a dinosaur paternally cited from looks expressions of sheer girl like complete he want in dinosaur pattern completely completely like everything in a dinosaur and second meaning is they use one word to two things they explain with one words two things because the uh, uh, luke's want a um, bath made and curtains and pillowcase and bed sheet of dinosaur so they use very thin and transparent in the sense of sheer curtains or sheer fabric probably this word we use uh, when when we use it like completely like i want completely this dax with my books then i will use this sheer word second with a very transparent and very thin items this is transparent this is transparent if it's very thin or transparent like this is thin this is thin okay so then we will use sheer word now let's see what's here particular set to what they are telling us word in context if you don't know the exact meaning of the word you will not necessarily run to a dictionary you are more likely to use words and sentence around it to figure out the word meaning see the sidebar later in this chapter choosing the list word devour ponder and your elicit share the past complete each sentence okay they are giving us the sentence now and he is telling us to telling us like you don't know the exact meaning of the word you are not necessary to zarina it's not necessary to open dictionary 
sorry i was uh, going to my urdu language sorry guys so it's for necessary that you have to go to open dictionary here is my dictionary hmm. so what i'm doing guys i'm in front of you and they tell us meaning and i will do exercise with you guys and they are saying you are more likely to use word or in a sentence okay let's do it kindness is contagious one act of kindness may another which word will come in this the word is devour ponder endure elicit or share now in this manner we will think about devour what is the meaning of devour to eat or consume let's add the devour word in, in sentence kindness is contagious one act of kindness may devour another devour consume another no ponder meaning what is the meaning of wonder oh my god i forget you guys tell me help me do you guys know the meaning of ponder oh my god so shall we go back what do we do <laughs> ponder 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 meaning wonder okay my brain is not giving me so we are, we are going back oh ponder means weight like if we are learning something we are putting weight on our head no i will never forget the meaning thank you oh my god so let's go the uh, add the word in the sentence kindness is contagious contagious one act can kindness may ponder another wait another one act i don't know which will endure another kindness is contagious one act of kindness may endure another endure what is the meaning of endure tell me guys endure meaning is how is it possible that we are like this like wow this, this is the brain tickler we learned the word we are coming on the next page but we forgot the meaning so how we guys go to another chapter if we are stuck in this small exercise so we guys this exercise we will learn the endear meaning keep going and uh, let's add the sentences kindness is contagious one act of kindness may endure another keep going another what you guys i think like endure will come elicitate means draw out like one act of kindness elicited another what you guys mm. uh sheer mm -hmm. when henry saw his perfect ass score he boost boosted of his brilliance his brilliance like he is telling about something and brilliance keep going ponder wait 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 maybe ponder the more nowadays we hardly have to dash muscle span everyone can easily purchase over the counter pen clips like what which word we will put in this tell me guys tell me guys in the comment here please guys did you can do it you know i will i will tell you the answer in the end right now i will not tell you the answer i know the answer book is in my hand but what i'm doing i'm keep trying and i'm keep enduring you guys like put ponder on yourselves and devour each and every vocabulary then elicit it guys in comment box i use the words for you <sighs> let's read four for you there's a head and eight in an hour she could uh, not wait the meal placed before her 
let me tell you the meaning let me do this simple for you guys Teresa didn't eat in an hour like Teresa is not eating in an hour, hours okay she could not wait could not wait like what dear consume could not wait your ponder wait endure keep going could not wait to endure hmm? the meal what this is eat the meal what what tell me guys it's for you maya liked to think about infinity a concept she could dash for a words oh ho, ho. in this i think elicited because the word concept comes like you guys will tell me now then we will learn this like then we will go then the, we will enjoy the exercise okay keep coming keep me tell me the answer in comment box i'm waiting and then i will start this page i will start the exercise from sixth page okay i'm with you guys <laughs>